Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Last time we visited a village where uh, Maya was going to be completing some special training. And one of the... Hmm. Well, channelers. I was about to say none, but no, a, a channeler there. So, well, spirit medium, that, that's probably a better way of stating this. She looked suspiciously familiar to someone from Phoenix's past. And in the middle of the night, a children's author wound up dead. And as Phoenix was going to uh, grab Maya out of where she was training, the bridge that led to that spot was on fire. And as he ran across, it gave way. Today, I got no dang clue where we are. Who could that be at this time of night? Oh god, yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up, it's an emergency. Huh, Larry, do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Larice. Larice Dunham. This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... But wait, don't hang up. It's an emergency. It's Nick. He, he, he took a really nasty spill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. So... I'm not joking, his life is in danger. What? What happened? Tell me. Talk about a guy with bad luck. He may already be dead. Anyway, you've got to come back. You're the only one that can help. My Iris, my beautiful Iris, she needs help. All right, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I I'm at the detention center. Please, hurry. It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. Where's Edgeworth at? Oh god, I'm defending him again! You're late, Edgy. What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is... Maya and Iris is bikini. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, he just had a horny moment. You don't ever want to have a horny moment when times are serious like this. Alright, say something, Edgy. Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right to visit. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture book author Miss Elise Dunham. She was found by right in the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Y yes, th that's right. You got it. But they arrested her. My sweet little Iris. And here I was convinced he was the one the police had arrested. Thank God. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? There are things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. Oh my god, are we conducting the investigation with Edgeworth? I'm not even playing... What, was it actually called Edgeworth Investigations? Or Ace Attorney Investigations? Edgeworth's spinoff. He had one. Which comes later after these games, I believe. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other... Couldn't possibly ask him what I think he is. Could he? I'm begging you, after this trial starts tomorrow. With Nick out of the picture, you're all I've got left. You're the only one that can represent her. What did you just say? You know, present, or represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? 
I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. How could this country's judicial system have fallen to such decay? Coming from you? Coming from you! You! Uh, okay. Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So I wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. Oh, God. I, I still don't know if this is, like, actually her. Or if this is someone different. So I'll just go with generic voice, just in case it's someone different, or it's her trying to pretend to be someone else. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. <gasps> oh, I could do Iris from X4. No, I, I can't do a British accent that bad. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help, but... Well, at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um... M Mr. Wright, he... How is he? Mr. Larice said that he... That he might even die! Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron, how could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Does he have the, uh, uh COVID-19? I must be imagining things. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Shit suspicious, yo. Shit real suspicious. Why we got this? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wow, these are even from the viewpoint of Edgeworth. Also, friend? Oh, I mean, okay, well, granted, they started off as friends, I guess, but since... That means you were friends throughout, and, like, I mean, after the first two games, I don't know about that, she... Alright, whatever, let's talk to her. Pardon me. Iris, I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost your spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple, then? I... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for- Oh, it is definitely her. That's why I'm there and why I continue to train. To purify my soul. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room at about 8. Later I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? And then... I was told to go to the training hall, but... I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I... I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story. I just know there is. Should dig a little deeper. Well, before that... So you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I think... It was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? 
Yes, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. That's just his way of saying he's an atheist. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I am certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Denham? Can somebody, can somebody from Capcom say her name out loud so I can understand how to say it? Oh, I could just consult the anime if this case was covered, and hopefully I wouldn't get spoiled. Eh. No, I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. It was foolish of me. It's not as if I can know for certain if she is telling me the truth. But you can, because you didn't see any psyche logs. So who really hell? You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? Ooh, we got a double lock here. Alright, so it's not the quadruple or quintuple? That, uh... The, 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 the Phoenix got. What in the world? Um, is there something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry, it's nothing. It's like she's not aware of them herself. This must be what Wright was talking about. The Psycholocks. I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. Hmm. It appears that's about all that you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Me? Yes, the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth. And I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Wright? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little... strange. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? He is a very dear and indispensable friend. When did that happen? It was five years ago. Oh, what the f... That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. It's her. You deceived him. I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why, that's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. I mean, it, hey, this is pretty much like admitting that it's her, so uh, that's why we're going back to the Southern Bell voice. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. Until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. It's she, She's kind of in police custody. She can't go a goddamn place. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. That's in your vocabulary? That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. But Psyche Locks. Well, I probably don't have enough for that. But we can do some presenting. Who was the woman on this hanging scroll? Well, I don't know the details, but... I've heard she's the master of the Korean channeling technique. M master? Yes, Mystic Misty. She was a great spirit medium. That's what I've heard. I also heard that she went missing over 15 years ago. Spirit mediums. There's no such thing anyway. You, you, you know Maya and Mia, but okay. Mr. Edgeworth? I know all about them. They're nothing but frauds. She doesn't know anything about it, of course. But there was a time, 17 years ago, when I met the master myself. 
Oh yeah, when your dad got shot by Von Karma. That's called a Demon Warden. <laughs> okay, that's a great name. I gave that to Mr. Riot last night. He was wearing this when I saw him at the hospital today. It's an important item for protecting acolytes from evil spirits. Rally it is. If it's so important, then why'd you give it to him? Last night, I felt... something. I felt that something terrible was about to happen. I... I didn't want Mr. Wright to fall into its grip. Well, he wound up falling into something much deeper and colder. Probably shouldn't say that out loud, though. Thank God for inner monologue. <laughs> oh my God, he actually grew a soul? Ooh, wrong thing. Sorry, I only tell me I don't know very much about the outside world. It's a map of your. Oh, okay. I was against the idea of our temple appearing in the magazine. I was afraid that this type of a tragedy might occur. In that case, why did you allow them to run an article about you? Your sister Bikini. She's actually rather fond of attention. Su surprisingly so. She certainly does look rather happy in this photo. That's Mystic Elise Dunham. She's a picture book author, so I've heard. Does she come to the Hazakura Temple often? No, this is her first time. It's just that... She was a very important visitor. Is that so? Yes, Sister Bikini told me be certain not to offend her. The victim is Elise Dunham. The prosecutor's office still doesn't have much information about her, it seems. Alright, well, let's go down the line. Mr. Wright, how bad is this cold? Well, his fever is very high. As a result, he's rather confused. He's worried about Maya, who is still trapped in the inner temple. Shouldn't y'all have recovered her? A possible witness? Okay. And he's quite worried about you as well, it seems. Really? Yes, naturally. Once he recovers, I'll pass the baton back to him. No, don't. I'm sure that Mr. Rod wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want to defend me. Oh, shut up. Okay, why? Well, I don't know why I would show her gumshoe. It's not like she would know anything about him. Oh, that's Mr. Lil Reese. I'm sorry. Wh who did you say it was? Lil Reese Dunham. He is Mr. Galisa's apprentice, I think. Alright, now who exactly is this guy? He's a very sincere hard-working person. Um, did I say something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Excuse me, I was temporarily at a loss for words. Take a trip, come home, be thrust suddenly into Bizarro World. Yeah. <laughs> the lie detector determined all oh, that was a lie. That's Mr. Elise Dunham. She's a picture book author, or so I've heard. She come to Hazakura Temple often? No, that was her first time. Just that this is the exact same thing as what her prompt said. Okay. Tell me about you! you Wanna know about me? There's not much to tell, I'm afraid. Just let me get one thing straight. You were raised at Hazakura Temple, correct? And yet, somehow, you seem to know right. So you two must have crossed paths somewhere. No, Mr. Edgeworth. Whomever it was, couldn't have been me. What is that supposed to mean? Anything new? No? Okay, but we got locks there. I'm gonna wait. Try I check out this here suspension bridge. Sure is cold, all right. So this is it. Dusky bridge. Oh wow, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, great. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see. It's been about a year. Or has it been, uh, longer? Doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh. Ouch. There's that, uh, sharp left jab. Well, I'm, uh, happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess. You were transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. 
heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Come shoe indeed. Like, going your shoe is impossible to get rid of. All you need is a knife. Wow, that's actually kind of dark when you doing the double meaning. Okay, I'm supposed to report on the... No, oh, I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am. Detective Dick. Gumshoe, reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was going to get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Godot? You don't know? About Godot? Just got back to the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this was a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady? Here? On this freezing cold mountain? Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. You may have to talk to this bikini lady. I, I mean, decisive witness. Myself. Really, Edgeworth? Oh, okay, that's how he get down. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep. Can't imagine being that reckless myself. <laughs> he said that with a straight face? Look before you cross. That's how it goes, right? Was that a leap? And? Is there something on the other side? Yeah. Small building they call the Inner Temple. We can't get over there without a bridge, sir. Don't you? You're the police. Don't you have helicopters? What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training, and now they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from Wright. It's Maya Faye. Oh, no. Her again. Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial... Extraction. No one's going to be able to reach the Inner Temple until tomorrow, sir. Should be alright in this cold. So how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. I've never heard of that. But according to the weather weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weather data added to the court record. Well, hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. No occasional lightning strikes. No 7 to approximately 10.50 lightning. 10 to approximately 11 p.m. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45, around 30 minutes past between the fire starting and going out. Holy crap, who's doing this weather report? Oh, that. Got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry. I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. So who is this Prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie. Nobody can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of a man is he? Just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godot has really got it in for, uh, Mr. Wright. Oh? Yeah, seems to have some kind of a grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. None of this is making any sense. Better look into this Godot myself. Okay. And now we go down the line. Ooh, wrong wrong button there. Down the line. Nothing. I'm just here every day. Simple detective. Don't ask me such tough questions. Okay. 
It's not something to be proud of, detective. It really isn't. Okay, nothing. It's a map of the area. Okay. All right, fine. There's a lot we all know about this victim. We don't know her real name, her background. We don't know anything, really. It's rather odd. If she was trying to hide her identity, why would she become an author? I mean, people use pen names all the time. I mean, look at Lemony Snicket. There was an article, like, in one of our local papers one day, like, right after the last uh, Series of Unfortunate Events book came out. It had, like, his real picture and name. I was just like, no, I refuse to read this. Like, my mom tried to show me, like, oh, isn't this the books you read? And I was like, I'm not about to read that. I don't want to ruin the mystery. It's like when people found out what Drill looked like and it's like the internet decided as a whole, like, we will not willingly spread this information. We will keep it secret. Drill's identity must stay hidden. Don't you just love it when the internet comes together for like a noble cause? But all right, I bet it was just one of those things. You know, you probably never expect to get so popular. Tell me about this weather data. Oh my freaking god. Alright, and then just go down the line. Whenever something happens, this guy always shows up like he hasn't got a care. In fact, you know what? Every time he shows up, I always wonder the same thing. Maybe somehow he's actually the cause of all these incidents. I wonder if Gumshoe has realized it yet. But you could say the exact same... You could say the exact the same thing about him. Tell me about yourself. Your face is more drawn out than the last time I saw you once a year ago. Or over a year ago. It's the same picture, but okay. R really? I thought so. No, wait. It's not so much drawn out as weary and tired. We were just plain old thin. Thought that too, sir. Your salary's been kinda on the low end. So yeah, the food options have been kinda non existent. Off brand chicken soup, off brand spaghetti. Off-brand bread, that sort of stuff. Thought you were really into instant noodles last year. Got really sick of the stuff after a while, sir. So he just shops at the dollar store now? He's supposed to be Miss Lisa Dunn's apprentice or something. I see. Yeah, you drew a nice portrait of me. That's nice. But he made me pay him 50 cents for it. I'm sorry about that. You don't seem very interested in him, Mr. Edgeworth. I really don't want to talk about him. That's why. <laughs> 50 cents? There's a lot we don't know about this victim. We don't know her real name, her background. We don't know anything, really. It's rather odd. She's trying to hide her- Oh my god, really? Why are they saying the same? I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. She wasn't from a prior case, was she? Nope. Can't be. She did a database search with her fingerprints and came up with nothing. Wait, wait, so is she different? I see. Just can't shake this nagging feeling. Well, everyone knows that you are quite popular with the ladies, sir. Maybe she's an old girlfriend that you sent to Dumpsville when you were younger. D detective where'd you hear such nonsense from? I didn't hear it from anyone. Just sort of how I imagine you to be, sir. Do I really inspire this sort of frothing desire from the female masses? Were they acknowledging the rabbit fan base that Edgeworth has? Seriously, the thirst levels for Edgeworth are out of control. There's always one in every, like, Japanese developed game. There's always one. You usually hear about promising young prosecutor candidates while they're still in school. But I've never seen or heard of this person. Gotta admit, it's puzzling all right. Just appeared one day, big mug of steaming coffee in his hand. Hmm, sounds like an interesting man. Yeah, the whole prosecutor's office is really in the double espresso ma macchiatos lately. Okay, that helped me with nothing. Thank you, detective, I am on my way. To the main gate. Oh wait, I didn't examine. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna go back to examine. Yo, Edgy, what took you so long? I'm so cold, my brain's turned to sherbet. 
It was a mistake to race back to this country. W what do you mean? Ride is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. But hey, wait a sec. Hold it. Objection. What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? You call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's Prosecutor Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. <laughs> Dude, edgy. I don't see you for a couple years and your heart turns to sherbet. I say more like sorbet. It is rather cold here. Iris didn't murder her. Someone else did it. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to right, that is. But first things first, I did not examine this place, so, um, move, boy, get out the way. There's a little shack down that way called Heavenly Hall. A shack? It's like a run-down doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. Kinda reminds me of my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Giving a hobble a great name is a crime itself. I call it false advertising. By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Castles. He lives in Compton? It's not such a great name if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. You live in Compton? Why? Hey, it's a public phone. You don't see a lot of these anymore. That's true. So we got one here while we take a photo as a memento. Well, um, sure. Why not? Oh, darn. I have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back, sir. What's so special about public phones, and why is he so fascinated by them? Some letters are wildly engraved into a roughly cut boulder. Dusky Bridge. Certainly is an appropriate name. You need to get some glasses, Mr. Edgeworth. The sign says Dusty Bridge. I see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs glasses, detective. Try reading it one more time. Ah, you're right. It's Dusky Bridge after all. Guess whoever wrote this made a mistake. No, oh, that's clearly a K. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross. Very reckless, if you ask me. I'm amazed he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Oh, I see how he manages to... Oh, yeah, when his case is in court. Blind luck. I think dumb luck suits right just a bit better. Okay, nothing with those. It looks like a pretty good distance to that far cliff. Yeah, it's gotta be around 100 yards or so. Detective, that's not even close to 100 yards. Well, gotta admit I'm not very good at judging distances. It's about 20 yards or so. Impossible to cross without a bridge, it seems. 